Board of County Commissioners. Uh, we have uh, our fellow commissioners here, Ray Johnson, Don Austin. And, uh, we're also lucky enough to have six of our uh, elected officials here. Uh, the uh, judges won't be here tonight. They were at the last one, but Craig Verser and Jill Landis are doing mock trial this evening. And, uh, that's always a great experience for uh, young people to get to do that. And it's something that's open to the public if you want to go see it on the beach before. But always a good show. Uh, so our other elected officials, we have uh, Judy Morris, the treasurer, Ruth Gordon, Donna Eldridge, Tony. I'm short, so I'll stand up. Judy <laughs> Cara. Okay, let's see. I saw Jack. There's Jack. Okay. Jack Eckman, our assessor. Ray Dalzell, prosecutor. Good evening. Didn't miss anything. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for attending tonight. It really adds to it. We'll have a chance to hear from them. Uh, tonight's purpose is to hear your questions and have some dialogue, hopefully get some answers. Uh, if we can't answer a question tonight, we'll try to take it uh, with us and get back to you. So, uh, hope we can do that. Our opportunity to have a two-way dialogue uh, with all of us here is, hasn't, hasn't really been happening lately in this community. Uh, we are often out there as individuals, as elected officials, uh, talking with people in various settings all the time, but to have us right here uh, is an experience we're trying to foster so that everybody has a chance to uh, hear what we have to say and to get your questions answered, hear what you have to say what you think is important in this community. Uh, helps us uh, to serve. We, we go out during campaigns and uh, get to get a lot of feedback from people. Uh, but then we have to touch base as we go, or else uh, this community can change on us, and this economy can change on us, uh, our situations can change. So we need to hear from you. Uh, we have Mike Congraccio here, our former sheriff. Tonight. He's going to be our facilitator tonight, and I uh, really appreciate him doing that. And I want to thank uh, Port Ludlow, Port Ludlow uh, Fire and Rescue for letting us use this yeah. opportunity. <laughs> Lucky to have them hosting us tonight. And then Blake Holmes and Olympic Excavating and Associates for providing parking space for us tonight. So really appreciate that. So I'll turn this over now to uh, Mike. And thank, thank you, you David. Um, I believe there was a request for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, if uh, you'd like to stand and. Uh, okay. the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On behalf of Chief Ed Wilkerson, uh, I want to welcome you all here. My name is Randy Coggin, I'm the Assistant Chief. I just wanted to go over a couple of quick safety things with you. Um, in the event of emergency, the lighting goes, no, that's not it. <laughs> um, we uh, do have two exits in this room. First of all, this, this uh, bay is fully sprinklered, okay? Uh, we have two main exits that uh, should the need arise, we'll use one over here and one over there. We'll also have a guard the door by each one to help you exit if you need to. If you use this door here, turn to your right when you go out, go to the end of the building, the patio, and follow the building back up to the front. This one here will take you right out to the front. Um, other than that, the other essential is the restrooms are right back in that corner there. Uh, Tanya Cray, our administrative assistant, is back there. If you open that door, you'll see a sign leading you back to the bathroom. Okay, if you need anything else, please ask any of the firefighters here. Glad to help you. And again, welcome. Thanks. Uh, as Commissioner Sullivan said, this is the second of uh, four uh, events, and I'm not accustomed necessarily to being a facilitator, but what we found at the meeting at the uh, Jefferson County Library in Fort uh, Hadlock was that by passing out, when we get to that point, we'll pass out um, sticky pads and ask you to write down uh, any questions that you may have of the uh, 
commissioners or anyone else for that matter. Um, we, once we get those collected, we'll go through all of them. Be assured that no matter what the question is, or no matter if it's a little bit of a statement, as much of a question, we'll go ahead and, and read it and make sure that it's addressed. Um, one of the things we want to accomplish here is to have some time before the evening is over. So in addition to the written questions, if there is something that has uh, been brought up that you would like to expand on or have expanded on, or a question has materialized in your mind that you didn't think of earlier, uh, give an opportunity to do that. We're going to try and wrap this up by about 9 o'clock. Uh, we'll ask first, if I can, uh, and, and I was amazed, having been a formal elected official, that at our last meeting, each of the elected officials stood up, gave a little overview of what's been going on in their uh, office, and they were able to do it in two minutes or less. So I want to commit to all of them. And uh, just to put Jack Westerman on the spot as our assessor, Jack, would you like to start? Okay. Let's see. This year we're doing the Brennan Quill uh, School District for the revaluation area. So we'll be sending out revalues to our property owners in Brennan Quill around August 1st. Uh, don't really know exactly what's going to happen in that area, but I'm, all the sales so far are sort of leaning toward. Uh, Probably about a 10% reduction over 06. So not as big as a reduction as we're going to do next year, 2011, when we get back here. But still, one of the first times that I can remember in uh, I've been the assessor, this is my 31st year, and it's the first time that we'll have an area overall decrease. So uh, another sign of the market, so to speak. We, uh, we calculated the levies for 2010 taxes Friday, got them on the duty. And on uh, probably a week from now, if you get on the website, you can, you can get to the abstract that gives you all the different uh, data that we put together for you. If you happen to do that, pay, pay attention to page 5A. And if you're here in Port Lumbo, your tax code area is 231, and you can see sort of what happened to the levy rate compared to last year, both for the senior levy and the senior levy rate. There's, some good, there's really some good stuff in here. Uh, one of the things that might interest pretty much Everybody, the number of transactions in uh, 09, which we just finished up, were 1517. Now in 05, we had 33.6, more than twice as many transactions. And in, in 1990, we had 3,600. So 1517 is the lowest. We, this chart only goes back to 89, so it's the lowest in 20 years by far. So uh, that would be the challenge for Quill and Brennan, actually, Mike. Truth be told, that uh, we raised Fort Townsend by 10 to 15 percent this past year. We had a lot of transactions. And so it's sort of easy to make that decision when you have lots of sales. With Brennan and Quill, we typically have far fewer sales in that area than we do even here. So it'll be easier when we come back here next year in 2011 to drop this area by 25 percent because we got so many sales. But with Brennan and Quill, we got so few sales that it's really a challenge to figure out how to make a decision when you got very little data. So that would be our challenge. 